Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can go about using shell bags to view hidden or deleted folders on a Windows operating system. Starting with Windows 7, Microsoft Windows provided the ability for operating systems to track user window viewing preferences specific to Windows Explorer. This information, called shell bag information, is stored in several locations within the Windows registry in the Windows operating system. In this example, I'm up inside of my Windows File Explorer and I have a folder open. And now I would like to view the contents in a certain way. Now, when I save these viewing preferences, that's going to become a shell bag that's going to be stored up inside of the system's registry. So if I go up here and I change the view to list or tiles or however I set my preferences, that is going to become a shell bag. Now, even if I delete this folder, that shell bag information will remain up inside of the registry as long as I don't delete it. So you can understand or appreciate that from a digital forensics point of view, that if I am conducting an investigation on a suspect's computer and I want to find what folders were deleted deliberately or if those folders ever existed on that user's machine, I can use the shell bag registry entries to verify and collect data and evidence that that folder did exist at one time on that user's machine, even if they delete the folder. When the shell bag information is combined with other available computer artifacts, it could provide a more complete picture of what files were accessed or deleted by the user and from what storage device they were being accessed from. Could be either an internal, external, or network storage device, or even a phone that was once attached to the PC. For this lab demonstration, I will be using one installation of Windows 10, but you can also use Windows 7. For this demonstration, I'm just going to use my host machine, which is Windows 10. But if I was conducting an actual forensics investigation onto a suspect's machine, of course, I would have a forensics image, and that is the image that I would be conducting this investigation from. Now, to help us look at the shell bag information that's up inside of the suspect's machine, we can download a self-contained running executable called Shell Bag Analyzer and Cleaner. So up inside of my Google search bar, I've just typed in Shell Bag Analyzer and Cleaner. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And on the next page, it's going to take you over to a site that is ran by Privazair.com. Shell Bag Analyzer and Cleaner is a free download utility that you can download from Privazair. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Now, this is a site that provides software that you can use to protect one's privacy, which includes deleting any trace of shell bags and or other artifacts that you don't want to be found on your computer. Once you're over here on the download site, just go ahead and download and save to your favorite download location. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. I'll go ahead and cancel it because I've already downloaded it once. As I previously mentioned, this is a self-running executable. You do not have to install it, which means that you can run it from a thumb drive, an external drive, or you can run it from a network share on the network. All you have to do, once you've downloaded the executable, double click it. And this is what it's going to look like. Now, all you have to do is just tell it to analyze. Now, a suspect may be smart enough to delete a folder. He may be even smart enough to run CC Cleaner or some other piece of free software to remove or try to remove any trace of that folder and its contents ever being present on the machine. But that information is not deleted up inside of the registry and that information can be found using this free utility. So you can scroll on down here through your results and you'll see that there's a lot of items in this instance that are marked in red. That means they were deleted. But you can see the time they were last visited. You can see the name of the folder that was deleted. And you can see the entire path where the folder once existed on the machine. 
And so from the above analysis of my workstation, you can see the history of every deleted folder since the shell bags were last cleaned, which in this case has never happened. And thus you can see that even though the user may have attempted to delete the evidence, we still have proof that the folder did at one time exist on the machine. And so that's going to conclude this short video presentation on how we go about using shell bags to view hidden or deleted folders up inside of our Windows operating system. You got questions? You got concerns? Please don't hesitate to reach out, contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.